guys, it's Delicracy here and welcome to another Toddler Stuff Pack review video. In this video, we're going to be having a look at all the new build and buy items, which I'm very excited to check out. And we're also going to be checking out some of the gameplay with those new items. Let's go. All right, so I've just got my little family of toddlers and also uh, a couple of babysitters or mommies. And let's just start off first by taking off the grid because I know how much <sighs> that frustrates some of you guys. <laughs> um, but okay, so these are all of the new objects. Uh, we got a lot of new creator sim items. Keep in mind, this is a stuff pack as always. This is not a game pack. You know what? I think we need to brighten up the day. Okay, so here we have, uh, these are actually technically chairs. So your Sims can sit on these, your toddlers can sit on these. Uh, they are a cluster of pillows and I think they're very, very sweet. This pack was inspired to be mostly outdoors um, or to be used mostly outdoors. Of course, you can use it any way you like in The Sims 4, but yeah, so a lot of these items are, of course, going to look really, really nice outside um, in like a playground setting. And I like how these are like the mom and dad chairs or the adult chairs. Uh, so they're really cute. I can see a lot of players using these chairs heaps in like beach house builds. Um, they're just a really good like classic chair to have in the game. So me likey a lot. Oh no, I went to chairs instead of show all. Okay, so we also have this table. Uh, to be honest, I didn't really use these tables that much in my games. However, I think for public lots, they're really, really good. And you know, we've got some cute little patterns on them. What? Did I just see fruit? Wait, wait, I love the color blocking in this pack too. Oh, look at that, that's so adorable. <gasps> I love it. Okay, I was about to say I kind of find these item, this item a bit boring, but no, I changed my mind. The fruit, the fruit saved the day. We also have a cool kids cooler. So this works like in the outdoor retreat stuff pack, um, game pack, sorry, where you can actually get food out of this. So this is like adorable. And I believe the little kitties can actually sit on it. Uh, it doesn't move, but they can sit on it. A light rope pole. Okay, so this is how we create the really adorable poles with lights, I think. So this is the, okay, so this is what um, it goes with, I suppose. It's a pole, it holds up the end of, end of the high wire light rope string of lights. Oh my God, I am so stupid. Of course, it goes at the end. Well, lucky they have a very good description. <laughs> Oh, how embarrassing. But you know, these are going to be really handy for builders. I'm sure some people are gonna create some very interesting lots out of them. So that's exciting. Uh, we also have these, my stumps part one. Really cute little characters. I think these are really awesome objects. And it makes me just wanna go buy tree stumps and paint on them. Does anyone else feel that way? Cause I'm just ready to go, I don't know, to some Bunnings warehouse. Bunnings in Australia is like your handyman store. <laughs> But these are the cutest characters ever. I love them. Where's the rainbow one? Oh no, no, no. I like, I like, oh, I don't, okay. I like this one. Let's keep this one. So there's a few different kinds of them. I wonder if Kimmy uh, from the Sims studio did the artwork on these. Whoever did, they've done a great job. There's a party pack here, table things. Uh, this will be really nice for when you have events at your house as well to have like paper plates and stuff. The Brat Mat, <laughs> what a name. Okay, so we've got a paintbrush, one with a leaf. We've got an underwater sea theme one, which is going to go with some of the new animations, which is gonna be really exciting to check out in a second uh, because in kids' imaginations now form around all the play equipment and it just looks insane. It's actually what I've been waiting for and most excited about since this pack was announced uh, and I saw the trailer. Oh, these are cute. Very nice. I really do wish that we had multiple swatches per object though, because I'd love to be able to change each mat to what I liked best. Uh, we did have that in The Sims 2, I think. <gasps> yes, oh my gosh, so many awesome birthday parties to be had. Oh, it's just so colorful and, or not so colorful. I have like a goth kid. Um, just so colorful and summery. This palette is awesome. And these are really cute too. We haven't really, I don't recall ever having anything like this in The Sims. 
Again, some builders are going to do some amazing things with it, so I'm glad that there's some more plain colors. What's going here with the the tags around? Did you guys see that? That's a bit weird. I mean, eh, I don't know. Maybe that was a mistake. But yeah, they look really nice. Love the lighting effects too. It looks so real. This is a tiny tot tree house, but it's essentially a doll house, I think. Um, so it raises the creativity skill for kids, the imagination skill for toddlers. But it's just like a little, I think I described it as a little mushroom dollhouse <laughs> when I first saw it. I think it's really adorable. Um, really, again, different to what we already have. Here's another toy box, which of course I assumed we would get. And the fact it is a hamburger and a yellow school bus. What? Oh my God. It's like a cupcake with sprinkles. It's a ladybug. No. Crayons? Seriously, whoever is doing the creative direction? Oh my God, please, like stop. It's just too much. <laughs> ah, this makes me so happy. Oh my God, the school bus has a face. Oh, we can have like a school bus and a little police car. <laughs> oh my lordy lord, that is so cute. Okay, let's see all of them. Oh no, I ruined the filter, you guys. Deli ruined the filter. Okay, so this is cute. This is like a little slide. Uh, apparently the animation is adorable. Although I can't really remember it from the trailer, but I heard someone else going on about the slide animation is adorable. Now here is the ball pit. Uh, this has got a little bit of controversy for the animation of the balls in it. I personally didn't have a problem. Usually I'm like the first person to be like, aesthetics are not right, but um, I wasn't actually at all disappointed with this in the trailer. So I'm excited to try it out myself to see if I change my mind. Um, and then we have two new jungle gym playgrounds and these really are very different to the ones we already have in the game. And yeah, they're just really cool. I like them. I like them a lot. Uh, and then this one has the slide and the ball pit attached, I believe, I think. I think that's what's happening here. Yeah, so you can have one with the whole thing attached and maybe they jump into the ball pit from up here or something. I don't know if there's any extra animations added, but yeah, that's pretty nice. And in terms of building, um, we do have some new rooms, which I'll place in just a second. And uh, we have a new fence, which is really, really nice. I love this. I'm gonna use this so much because it's just, how good is this? This just gets me so excited about The Sims because it just inspires me to do more. Uh, okay, so we can make like a little, a little rainbow fence. Did they do this in the trailer? I don't know, but it looks cool right now. So that's why I'm doing it. <laughs> Okay, so there we go. We got our little rainbow fence and yes, there is a gate to go with it so we can lock your kids in and give them a playpen and so they can't escape the little rascals. <laughs> uh, I don't think there's anything else around here for outdoors. Is there new plants? I'd be surprised. There's no new floors or anything. Uh, nope, nope. Okay, let's check out the rooms then. Oh! Do I want to bulldoze everything? Yeah, let's just do it. Let's just go all out. Okay, so, oh, the rooms, the rooms, the rooms, Deli, focus. All right, so this is one room, adorable. I think this one, let's place that over here. So this showcases the slide and a nice little seating area. This one showcases the shade. And you know what? These are actually really fantastic um, pre-made rooms like how easy is that to add it onto the back of your house or the back of your lot um oh that is cool must fit there we go it does fit ah okay let's check out some gameplay let's get these little toddlers to have a little bit of fun okay i don't even know what i want to do first let's start over here with the cushions and the slide so let's get you to sit on there you can nap on here. Oh, they're gonna take a while to, to, to get over here, aren't they? <laughs> uh, we can have a parental sit down. And what about, what about this guy? No, 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 you can slide. 
slide and it looks like they can climb as well. Oh gosh, they're all gonna up their movements so quickly. It's a hundred toddler challenge, but not quite. Ah, oh, she looks like she's enjoying a little sit there. She's like, yes. Yeah, what a lovely day to be looking after seven toddlers. Wait, one, two, three, four, six. I clearly can't count. Oh, look. He feels like he's on top of the world. Look at him in his nice little overalls. Oh my God, look at the bottom of the boots. They're so cute, Void Kuda overalls. This hair looks really good in game. I like the hair in game um, more than in Creator Sim. Where's little Bumblebee boy? I love this kid. He's like a little bumblebee boy who likes to dress up as a bumblebee and wear skirts. He's like my future child. Okay. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to look at the kids over there. Okay, don't look yet. We can't look yet. We have to watch bumblebee boy first. <laughs> we have to watch him climb up and go down the sled like a real bumblebee flying through the air. Fly, little child. Fly like you've never flown before. <laughs> oh, that was very cute. Oh, those wings are everything. They kind of move a little bit, the wings. Can we help toddler climb? Let's help Keelan? Kellen? So it just means that the parent can interact with the child a little bit. Oh help him up. It looks like they've put a lot of time uh, and budget into maybe animations for this stuff back. I feel like the for some reason I feel like there's not as many items, but I think it's because of the creator sim extras. We've got quite a lot. And uh, I'd have to compare it to other packs. I don't know. Do, do you guys feel like there's a little less? Oh, I also forgot to show the new barbecue. That barbecue looks awesome. Oh gosh, there's kids everywhere. Oh, look at this little one. She's playing dolls. With her sunnies on. She's like, oh yeah. I have the best doll house ever. Oh. Do they have new dolls? I think those are new dolls, are they? I'm not sure. You guys will know though. Oh, okay. Let's... I want someone to sit on this. Let's get you to sit on there and we can get yeah just check that out all right let's get this little one to climb climb on there it doesn't look like we've been able to use the imagination yet or maybe it's when the parent plays with them i'm thinking i'm assuming oh look at little logan little logan I did create all of these sims too. I wanted them to represent each color of the rainbow. I want him to go on this. Oh, well, we'll have to check out this little animation. Oh, look at that. So she's sitting on top of the esky. That's nice. This lady's feeling uncomfortable. Uh, let's get you off of here. You can go over here, Missy. And yeah, you can grab um, a drink out of the esky. You can get some juice out for one of the kids. Uh, she walks over here. There you go. So yeah, it's just like an esky in there. Um, that in real life you'd be able to pull around. Oh, look at you! <laughs> All right, let's check out these imagination uh, things. Play as monster. What does this mean? Uh, okay, so the toddlers have to have a higher imagination skill to see the spaceport or the pirates. So what happens if we play as a monster? Oh my god, that's a ball pit. Okay. See, I'm not offended by this at all. I think this looks fine in the game. I can't, I like how the balls pop up. Like, I get it. It doesn't look as realistic. I, okay, I get why people wouldn't be happy with this. I get it. I feel like maybe if this was too difficult to animate, they should have had a sand pit or something like that. I think someone else mentioned that on Twitter. But I don't really mind the ball pit being like that. I like it, you guys. I'm fine with it. I probably would have preferred a sand pit, though. Because um, I think the, the lack of detail of the balls is a bit of a shame. But I'm not, like, super offended by it. Whee! 
going down the slide. Okay, does any of these toddlers have a higher skill of imagination? This one's up to number one. If you play dolls, I think your imagination goes up. Imagination level one. Okay, okay. This little Tucker should have level two imagination skill very soon. Yay, okay. Okay, make believe, here we go. Make believe into a pirate shipwreck. I'm so excited to see this. Okay, we're gonna get a whole heap of beautiful imagery in a second. Uh, once she goes and does what Deli tells her to. Excuse me, Ms. Bird. <gasps> oh my gosh! Look at that! Look at that! That is so cute! Uh, I, I love this. I absolutely adore this because this is what I felt like when I was a kid. Oh, and I love the drawings. That is just so beautifully done. And just so you guys know, as soon as we click off of this toddler and go to an adult, it completely disappears. Uh, then you can click back on. Oh wait, she stopped playing. Let's play make believe in a spaceport. Whoa! Oh, look at how funny is the moon's face? Like, oh my gosh. It's like, hey guys, how you doing? <laughs> wow, and the stars. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, look at that coming out the back and tripping out so much when I try and rotate through. How did they do that? It always appears to be 2D. What? I am mind blown right now. Okay, so if I click on any of the kids, they can all see the kids' imagination, but the parents cannot. Look at that! That is... I love this! I'm obsessed! I am obsessed with it. Oh my gosh. I just want to play spaceships all the time. She's going to be like the leader of the pack because she's got the highest imagination. So she can be like, guys, this is a shipwreck, see? And it has a little bit of music as well to go along with it. Absolutely adorable. <laughs> oh, so cute. Well, anyway, you guys, I think I'm gonna wrap up this uh, review right here. I think um, the extra animation in the pack, the clothing plus the items, I think it balances out how much you do get in the pack for your money. Uh, although, I won't lie, to be honest, to begin with, I was a bit like, oh, is that all when we got to build and buy objects? But I think um, there's a lot of new stuff and exciting things in here that I know I'm gonna use a lot. So I like it, this thumbs, this thumbs pack? <laughs> this stuff pack is a thumbs up from me. I really, really like it. The ball pit. I wish we got sand pit. The animation is a little bit mm, not quite right, but uh, I'm not all that offended by it personally. I think The Sims has done a fantastic job on the creator sim items and all of these gorgeous bright colors, vibrant colors, and this beautiful spring summer feel, like it really comes to life in the game. So I am absolutely stoked with that. And look at the two toddlers playing. <laughs> so cute. Anyway, I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.